we're delving into the fascinating world of numismatics with a focus on a true gem of American history, the 1940D Liberty One Cent Coin. This iconic coin, minted in Denver in 1940, holds a special place in the hearts of collectors worldwide. But what sets this particular coin apart from the rest? Let's embark on a journey through time to uncover the secrets behind its value and rarity. During the early 1940s, the United States was in the midst of economic upheaval, with the world on the brink of war. Despite the challenges, the Denver Mint tirelessly produced these copper beauties, each one a testament to American resilience. What makes the 1940D Liberty One Cent coin truly special is its scarcity. Due to various factors, including wartime demands for copper, fewer of these coins were minted compared to other years. Over the years, collectors have come to recognize the rarity and historical significance of this coin, leading to a steady increase in its value on the market. This coin value in market $48,000. Owning a 1940D Liberty One Cent coin is like holding a piece of American history in the palm of your hand. Its beauty and scarcity make it a prized possession in any coin collection. So what's the bottom line? The 1940D Liberty One Cent coin isn't just a piece of currency. It's a symbol of resilience, history, and the enduring allure of numismatics. Stay tuned for more fascinating insights into the world of rare coins. We're diving deep into the world of numismatics to explore the value and significance of the 1940 Washington quarter dollar. If you're curious about its worth or considering adding it to your collection, you're in the right place. First off, let's talk about the historical context of the 1940 Washington quarter. Minted during a pivotal time in American history, this coin bears the iconic image of George Washington on its obverse and a majestic bald eagle on its reverse. Its silver composition and classic design make it a favorite among collectors. Now, let's get down to business. When determining the value of your 1940 Washington quarter, there are several factors to consider. Condition, rarity, and demand all play a crucial role in determining its worth. If your coin is in pristine condition, with sharp details and minimal wear, congratulations. You could be looking at a higher premium. However, even coins with slight imperfections can still hold significant value, especially if they're part of a limited mintage or have unique characteristics. Speaking of uniqueness, keep an eye out for those elusive mint marks. Coins minted in Philadelphia, Denver, and San Francisco will have different mint marks, with some being rarer than others. And don't forget about those error coins or varieties. They can fetch hefty sums at auctions. This coin value in market $46,000. Now, where can you go to learn more and connect with fellow enthusiasts? The internet is your best friend. Websites, forums, and social media groups dedicated to coin collecting are great places to expand your knowledge and stay updated on market trends. And there you have it, folks. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the 1940 Washington quarter dollar is a timeless treasure worth exploring. Thanks for tuning in and we embark on a journey to unravel the mysteries behind the 1940 Jefferson nickel. Greetings, coin enthusiasts. Join me as we delve into the fascinating world of the 1940 Jefferson nickel. What makes this coin so special, you ask? Let's find out! 1940, a year of innovation and change. As the world grappled with the turmoil of World War II, the United States Mint was hard at work producing the Jefferson Nickel, a coin that would soon become a cherished piece of American history. The 1940 Jefferson Nickel holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its rarity and historical significance. While its face value may be just five cents, its true worth extends far beyond that. Despite its humble denomination, the 1940 Jefferson Nickel has proven to be a valuable asset for collectors. Its scarcity, coupled with its iconic design featuring Thomas Jefferson, elevates its status in the numismatic world. 
When determining the value of a 1940 Jefferson nickel, several factors come into play. The condition of the coin, presence of mint marks, and any potential errors all contribute to its overall worth. This coin value in market $47,000. For those lucky enough to possess a 1940 Jefferson nickel, the potential for profit is substantial. Rare varieties and coins in pristine condition can fetch prices far exceeding their face value. And there you have it, folks. The captivating story behind the 1940 Jefferson nickel. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer to the world of coin collecting, this iconic piece of American numismatic history is sure to spark your interest. Thank you for joining us on this exhilarating exploration of the 1940 Jefferson nickel. Stay tuned for more coin collecting adventures on Coin Collector's Corner. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to uncover the hidden value of a true Australian treasure, the 1941 cent coin. Hello everyone, and welcome to our channel. I'm Asu, and today we're going on a journey to explore the history, rarity, and value of the 1940 Australia one cent coin. Now you might be thinking, What's so special about a one-cent coin? Well, hold on to your hats, because this little piece of copper holds a remarkable story. The 1941-cent coin is a true gem in the world of numismatics. Minted during a pivotal time in Australian history, its design carries with it the spirit of a nation amidst global turmoil. In the midst of World War II, Australia was facing unprecedented challenges. Yet, Amidst the chaos, the Royal Australian Mint produced these one-cent coins, each a symbol of resilience and unity. But what about its value today? Well, prepare to be amazed. While its face value may be just one cent, collectors worldwide are willing to pay top dollar for this piece of history. The 1941 cent coin is incredibly rare, especially in mint condition. Its scarcity makes it highly sought after by collectors. This coin value in market $43,000. I've been collecting coins for years, and finding a 1941 cent coin in good condition is like finding a needle in a haystack. So how can you determine the value of your 1941 cent coin? Well, factors such as condition, rarity, and demand all play a significant role. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a newcomer to the world of numismatics, the 1940 Australia One Cent Coin is a piece worth cherishing. Thank you for joining us on this journey through history and numismatics. Remember, the true value of a coin lies not just in its metal, but in the stories it carries. We're diving deep into the world of numismatics to uncover the fascinating story behind the 1940 Canadian One Cent Coin and its hidden value. At first glance, this modest coin may seem like just another piece of pocket change. However, for those in the know, it holds significant historical and monetary value. During the 1940s, Canada was undergoing profound changes, both socially and economically. World War II was in full swing, and the Canadian economy was deeply intertwined with the war effort. The 1940 Canadian one cent coin is a fascinating relic of this tumultuous era. Minted during a time of great uncertainty, its design reflects the resilience and spirit of the Canadian people. The design of the 1940 Canadian one cent coin features the iconic maple leaf, a symbol of national pride and unity. Minted in bronze, these coins are prized for their durability and distinctive patina. Finding a well-preserved 1940 Canadian one cent coin is like finding a hidden treasure. Its scarcity on the market makes it highly sought after by collectors worldwide. Not only does it have historical significance, but its value has also steadily increased over the years. It's a solid investment for any serious collector. This coin value in market $42,000. So how can you determine if your 1940 Canadian one cent coin is a hidden gem? Look for coins with minimal wear and sharp, well-defined details. Coins in mint condition fetch the highest prices on the market. In conclusion, the 1940 Canadian one-cent coin is more than just a piece of currency. 
It's a tangible piece of Canada's rich history and a valuable asset for collectors everywhere. Keep your eyes peeled. You never know when you might stumble upon one of these rare treasures. We're diving into the intriguing world of numismatics with a focus on the 1940 Canadian 10 cent coin. If you're a collector or just curious about the value of coins, you've come to the right place. The 1940 Canadian 10 cent coin is not only a piece of history, but also holds significant value for collectors. Let's start with the basics. This coin, minted in 1940, features the iconic maple leaf design on the reverse and the portrait of King George VI on the obverse. Now, you might be wondering about its value. Well, the value of any coin depends on various factors such as its rarity, condition, and demand in the market. According to numismatic experts, the 1940 Canadian 10 cent coin, especially in good condition, can fetch a handsome price in the collector's market. This coin value in market $41,000. In recent years, we've seen a steady increase in the value of this coin, making it a valuable addition to any collection. But remember, determining the exact value of a coin requires careful examination and research. If you're interested in learning more, consider consulting with a reputable coin dealer or numismatist. And there you have it, folks. The fascinating world of the 1940 Canadian 10 cent coin. Thanks for joining me today. We're delving into the captivating world of numismatics to uncover the hidden treasures within the 1940 half quarter dollar coins. Let's dive right in. Firstly, let's discuss the historical significance of these coins. Minted during a pivotal era in American history, the 1940 half quarter dollar coins boast a unique blend of craftsmanship and historical context. During the 1940s, the United States was emerging from the Great Depression and gearing up for World War II. These coins circulated during a time of immense change and upheaval, making them not only valuable in terms of monetary worth, but also as historical artifacts. Joining us today is a renowned numismatist with years of experience in coin appraisal. Could you shed some light on the value of 1940 half quarter dollar coins? Absolutely. The value of these coins can vary depending on factors such as condition, rarity, and demand from collectors. While some 1940 half quarter dollar coins may have a modest value due to their circulation, others in pristine condition or with unique features can fetch significantly higher prices at auctions or through collectors. Fascinating. Now, let's explore some examples of rare 1940 half quarter dollar coins that have captured the attention of collectors worldwide. For our viewers who are avid coin collectors or those just starting out, here are some tips to keep in mind when assessing the value of 1940 half quarter dollar coins. This coin value in market $44,000 near mint condition typically command higher prices in the market. Mintages or unique characteristics are often more valuable to collectors. Seek guidance from experienced numismatists or coin appraisal services to accurately assess the value of your coins. And there you have it, folks. The captivating journey through the world of 1940 half quarter dollar coins. Remember, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, the value of these coins extends far beyond their monetary worth. Stay curious, keep exploring, and we embark on an exciting journey to uncover the hidden value and potential of the 1941 dime coin. Hello, everyone. I'm thrilled to dive into the world of numismatics with you. The 1941 dime coin is a true gem of American numismatic history. Let's explore its significance and potential value. Released amidst the backdrop of historical events, the 1941 dime coin bears witness to a pivotal era in American history. But what sets it apart from other coins of its time? The 1941 dime coin boasts exquisite craftsmanship and design, featuring the profile of President Franklin D. Roosevelt. Its composition of 90% silver adds to its allure for collectors and investors alike. The 1941 dime coin holds immense historical value, 
reflecting the spirit of resilience during challenging times. Collector As a collector, owning a piece of history like the 1941 dime coin is truly priceless. This coin value in market $45,000. But what about its monetary value? With the current market trends and collector demand, how high can the value of the 1941 dime coin soar? Given its rarity and historical significance, the 1941 dime coin has the potential to appreciate significantly in value over time. Its allure to both collectors and investors makes it a sought-after asset in the numismatic world. There you have it, folks. The 1941 dime coin is not only a piece of American history, but also a potential treasure trove for collectors and investors alike. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the fascinating world of coins and currency. Exciting topic to dive into the 2009 Liberty One Cent Coin. Many of you may have come across this coin in your collections, but did you know its true value and rarity? Stick around as we uncover the secrets behind this fascinating piece of currency. Let's start with a quick overview of the 2009 Liberty One Cent Coin. This coin was part of a special series celebrating the 200th anniversary of Abraham Lincoln's birth. It features a striking design depicting a young Lincoln reading while sitting on a log. One of the key factors influencing a coin's value is its mintage. In the case of the 2009 Liberty One Cent coin, its mintage was significantly lower compared to other Lincoln cents. Due to lower demand for coins in circulation during the economic downturn of 2008, fewer of these coins were minted, making them relatively rare finds today. As with any collectible coin, the condition plays a crucial role in determining its value. Coins in mint condition, free from scratches, wear, or discoloration, command a higher premium among collectors. It's essential to carefully examine your 2009 Liberty One Cent coin and consider getting it professionally graded if you believe it to be in exceptional condition. So, what's the market value of the 2009 Liberty One Cent coin? Well, it varies based on factors such as condition, demand, and overall scarcity. However, collectors and numismatists have noted that these coins can fetch prices well above face value, especially in pristine condition or as part of a complete set. In conclusion, the 2009 Liberty One Cent coin is more than just a piece of currency. It's a piece of history and a collector's gem. Whether you're a seasoned numismatist or a casual coin enthusiast, Owning one of these coins adds a unique touch to your collection. Keep an eye out for them in your change, and who knows, you might just stumble upon a rare find, this coin value in market $1 million that wraps up today's video. If you enjoyed learning about the 2009 Liberty One Cent coin, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more numismatic content. We're diving into the world of coin collecting to explore the intriguing story behind 1965 one-dime coins. Many collectors overlook these seemingly ordinary coins, but you might be surprised by their hidden value and historical significance. Let's start by delving into the historical context of 1965. This year marks a pivotal moment in American history, with significant social and political changes taking place. The coinage system was also undergoing a transformation, making 1965 one-dime coins particularly interesting to collectors. Unlike earlier dimes, the 1965 dime is composed of a copper-nickel alloy rather than silver. This shift in composition adds an extra layer of intrigue to these coins. Despite the change in materials, the design remained consistent with previous dimes, featuring President Franklin D. Roosevelt on the obverse and a torch olive branch, and oak branch on the reverse. While millions of 1965 dimes were minted, their circulation and wear over the years have made well-preserved specimens relatively rare. Collectors often seek out uncirculated or mint-conditioned 1965 dimes, especially those with full bands on the torch, as they command higher prices in the numismatic market. Factors such as mint mark location, condition, and any errors or varieties can significantly impact the value of a 1965 dime. It's essential to carefully inspect these coins for any unique characteristics that may increase their desirability among collectors. In conclusion, while 1965 one-dime coins may seem ordinary at first glance, their historical significance 
and rarity make them valuable additions to any coin collection. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, exploring the world of coin collecting can be both educational and rewarding. This coin value in market dollar fifty eight thousand. Thanks for joining us today. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more fascinating insights into the world of numismatics. We're diving into the world of numismatics to explore the value and significance of the 1960 Washington quarter dollar coin, an image of a shiny 1960 Washington quarter dollar coin. Briefly discuss the design of the coin and its historical significance. Share the mintage figures for the 1960 Washington quarter dollar to provide context for its rarity. Explain how the condition of a coin affects its value and discuss common grading standards for coins. Research and present the current market value of the 1960 Washington quarter dollar in different conditions discuss factors that may influence the value of the coin, such as mint marks, rarity, and demand among collectors. Offer tips for collectors on how to identify valuable 1960 Washington quarter dollar coins and where to find reputable sources for purchasing or selling. This coin value in market $57,000 summarize the key points discussed in the video and encourage viewers to share their thoughts and experiences collecting coins. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest numismatic content. We're diving into the fascinating world of Canadian numismatics to explore the value and history behind the 1961 cent coin. Let's start by delving into the historical significance of the 1961 cent coin. Produced by the Royal Canadian Mint, this coin was part of a series featuring Queen Elizabeth II on the obverse and a maple leaf design on the reverse. Now, let's talk specifications. The 1961 cent coin is composed of 98% copper and 2% tin, with a diameter of 19.05 mm and a weight of 3.24 grams. Understanding these details is crucial for assessing its value point. One of the most exciting aspects of coin collecting is discovering rare variations. Keep an eye out for any anomalies, such as mint errors or unique markings, as these can significantly increase the coin's value. So, how much is a 1960 Canadian one cent coin worth today? Well, it depends on various factors like its condition, rarity, and demand. Generally, a well preserved specimen can fetch anywhere from a few cents to several dollars in the collector's market. If you're thinking about starting a coin collection or adding to an existing one, here are a few tips to keep in mind. Educate yourself about the hobby, network with other collectors, and always buy from reputable dealers or auction houses. And there you have it, folks. The captivating journey through the history and value of the 1960 Canadian one-cent coin. Remember, whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, every coin tells a unique story waiting to be discovered. This coin value in market dollar 54,000 thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more intriguing insights into the world of numismatics. We're diving into the world of numismatics to explore the value and significance of a particular coin, the 1967 Australian one-cent coin. The 1967 Australian one-cent coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors and history buffs alike. Produced by the Royal Australian Mint, this coin is not only a symbol of Australia's monetary system but also a piece of its rich heritage. In the late 1960s, Australia was undergoing significant changes, both socially and economically. It was a time of transition, with the nation embracing decimal currency for the first time on February 14, 1966. The introduction of the one cent coin was part of this currency overhaul, replacing the earlier penny. Now, let's talk about the value of the 1967 one cent coin. While its face value is, well, just one cent, its collector's value can vary significantly depending on factors such as condition, rarity, and demand. Generally, circulated coins may fetch a few cents to a couple of dollars, while uncirculated or mint condition specimens can command higher prices in the collector's market. Over the years, we've seen fluctuations in the market value of this coin. Factors such as changes in collector interest, economic conditions, and the overall condition of the coin can influence its price. 
it's essential for collectors to stay informed and keep an eye on market trends when buying or selling coins. This coin value in market dollar fifty three thousand, and there you have it, folks. A brief overview of the nineteen sixty seven Australian one cent coin. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting your numismatic journey. This coin serves as a tangible link to Australia's past and a fascinating piece of history to explore. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more coin related content. We're diving into the world of coin collecting to explore the value and history behind the 1966 half and quarter dollar coins. The 1966 half and quarter dollar coins were minted during a time of significant change in American currency. With the country transitioning away from silver coinage, these coins hold a special place in numismatic history. Both the half and quarter dollar coins from 1966 feature iconic designs, with the half dollar showcasing President John F. Kennedy on the obverse and the quarter dollar depicting President George Washington. These coins are not only valuable for their historical significance but also for their unique features and minting variations. While circulated 1966 half and quarter dollar coins may not hold significant monetary value, those in uncirculated condition or with mint errors can fetch a higher price among collectors. Factors such as condition, mint mark, and overall scarcity play a crucial role in determining the value of these coins in today's market. If you're interested in collecting 1966 half and quarter dollar coins, be sure to familiarize yourself with key identifying features and grading standards. Consider consulting with experienced collectors or numismatic experts to expand your knowledge and enhance your collection. This coin value in market dollar 56,000 in conclusion. The 1966 half and quarter dollar coins represent a fascinating era in American coinage history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or just starting out, these coins offer both intrinsic value and a glimpse into the past. Thanks for watching and happy collecting. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more coin collecting content. We're delving into the intriguing world of numismatics, focusing on a specific treasure from the past, the 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel. The 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its historical significance and potential value. Minted at the San Francisco Mint, this coin carries a unique story within its metal. Let's rewind to 1968 a year marked by significant cultural and political events. Against this backdrop, the San Francisco Mint produced Jefferson Nichols, adding to the nation's currency. As the turbulent 60s unfolded, the 1968 S. Jefferson Nichols silently circulated, bearing witness to the changing times. But what about its value today? Well, collectors and numismatists alike are drawn to this coin for various reasons. Its rarity, Condition and historical context all influence its market worth. In pristine condition, the 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel can fetch a significant sum, especially if it's part of a collection or possesses unique characteristics, such as errors or mint marks. For those keen on adding this gem to their collection, here are a few tips. Research Dive into the history and market trends surrounding the 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel. Condition matters. Look for coins in excellent condition, as this significantly impacts their value. Authentication. Ensure authenticity by purchasing from reputable dealers or seeking professional grading services. This coin value in market $52,000. And there you have it, folks. The fascinating journey of the 1968 S. Jefferson Nickel. A small piece of history with big value. Thanks for joining us today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more captivating insights into the world of coins. We're diving into the fascinating world of numismatics to explore the value and significance of the 1975 Elizabeth New Penny Coin. The 1975 Elizabeth New Penny Coin holds a special place in the hearts of collectors due to its historical context and scarcity. Minted during a transitional period in British currency, this coin symbolizes the dawn of a new era. Let's take a closer look at the design and features of this iconic coin. On the obverse side, we see the effigy of Queen Elizabeth II, portraying Her Majesty in stunning detail. The reverse side features the iconic crown portcullis, a symbol of strength and security. 
The year 1975 marked a significant milestone in British history, both politically and economically. As we reflect on the events of this era, we gain a deeper appreciation for the context surrounding the production of this coin. Due to its limited mintage and growing demand among collectors, the 1975 Elizabeth New Penny coin has become increasingly scarce over the years. Its rarity adds to its allure and value in the numismatic community. Now, let's address the burning question, how much is the 1975 Elizabeth New Penny coin worth? Well, like all collectibles, its value depends on various factors such as condition, rarity, and current market trends. To get a better understanding of its value, we can reference recent auction results and price guides. Keep in mind that values can fluctuate over time, so it's essential to stay updated on market trends. In conclusion, the 1975 Elizabeth New Penny Coin represents a captivating piece of numismatic history. Whether you're a seasoned collector or a curious enthusiast, exploring the stories behind these coins adds depth and excitement to the hobby. This coin value in market dollar 51,000. Thank you for joining us on this journey through time and currency. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more captivating content.